The ancient Romans had an expression warning of the dangers of deceptive marketing. Caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. But now, thanks to a new kind of fraud, we'll have to tweak that expression for the Internet. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. You may not be in the habit of keeping track of the conferences held by the Association for Computer Machinery, but research findings that will be announced at an ACM event in Dallas in just a few weeks will blow your socks off. The subject is Fake Online Reviews, written by Artificial Intelligence, also known as AI. Remember, this is just the beginning. The threat doesn't end here. Five researchers at the University of Chicago introduced their study with these words. The Internet is no longer the source of reliable information it once was. Today, misinformation is being used as a tool to harm competitors, win political campaigns, and sway public opinion. Now, here's how the scholars stepped out of their ivory tower and made contact with real people. They mixed five... AI-generated Yelp.com reviews of actual restaurants with legitimate reviews written by human beings. Then they asked 40 volunteers to guess which reviews were real and which were fake. Guess what? They had a lot of trouble telling the difference. Beyond this, according to the study, and I'm quoting here, using Yelp restaurant reviews as a target platform we show empirically that synthetic reviews generated by our tools are effectively indistinguishable from real reviews by state-of-the-art detectors relying on linguistic features. By the way, Yelp.com says it has an evolving system in place to detect phony reviews, and it's encouraging the researchers to continue their work. Now let me give you an example of one of these reviews. I love this place. I have been going here for years, and it is a great place to hang out with friends and family. I love the food and services. I have never had a bad experience when I am there. So how does software actually generate a review? I'm glad you asked that question. It takes a large sample of existing reviews as a starting point, does some processing, mixes in data about the actual restaurant, and voila! a phony but convincing review. Well, most of the time. Here's an AI review that's a little easier to spot if you know what you're looking for. I had the grilled veggie burger with fries. Four exclamation points. Oh, and taste. OMG, G, 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 exclamation point. Very flavorful. Another exclamation point. It was so delicious that I didn't spell it. Another exclamation point. But if you're not paying close attention, it's easy to miss that detail about not spelling the meal, especially if you're not thinking about artificial intelligence at the moment. The real story here is not that some restaurant owners and customers will be inconvenienced by automated reviews. As I said, this is just the first step. Think of the implications for fake news. Media leaders are already expressing interest in replacing reporters with AI programs. Don't believe for a moment this software will all be objective and unbiased. Just imagine fake news reaching the public thousands of times faster than a human can write and at a much lower cost per story. As a wise robot once said, Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. And as for that new Latin motto, caveat insurforum, let the internet surfer beware. This is Steve Eastman for... Wait till you hear this. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.